I want to introduce my friend Kaspar Herzberg. Kaspar is a great expert on not only greenfield cities, but greenfield and smart cities, and has just published this very, very, very interesting book, Smart Cities, Digital Nations, and I urge you all to uh, immediately go to uh, Amazon's <laughs> site and order it. it. It is truly a very interesting book. Talks a lot about uh, friends of ours in the New Cities community, like here in Songdo, in Cake, uh, in Saudi Arabia, and elsewhere. And Kaspar is uh, now the head of the Middle East uh, and Africa region uh, for Schneider Electric, a big multinational, as you know. He's based in Dubai. He runs an operation of over 10,000 employees uh, in around 70 countries in the Middle East and Africa. He's certainly a global thought leader on new and smart cities, on the Internet of Things, on public-private partnerships. And uh, Kaspar also knows Songdo very well because he worked here uh, quite a lot uh, when in a previous career at Cisco. Kaspar served as an officer in the German army and speaks fluent Arabic, fluent German, I hope, uh, fluent English and fluent French. Kaspar, come to the stage and we'll chat just for a few minutes. Thank you for that glowing uh, introduction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, just say a few words about your book, because it's literally uh, hot off the presses. It just came out a couple of weeks ago. So tell us about smart cities and digital nations, and what are your sort of two or three major findings in the book? Sure. Uh, so thank you. And uh, as any new author knows, it's um, a big first moment when you bring a book out. Uh, I've never done it before. And the way the publishing went, I hope I will not do it for a long time um, either. <laughs> Having said that, why did I write the book? Uh, I've worked on smart cities for the past uh, 10 years. I've worked with Wim Elfrink and actually some of you in the room on uh, cities from Saudi Arabia to Songdo to China, uh, in Chongqing and Chengdu, uh, elsewhere uh, in Africa itself, um, and so on. And when I looked at most of the books on the subject, yeah, I always felt that they were uh, very often highly academic, um, very, very intelligent, and also often quite dismissive of the real issues and problems that one faces when one is trying to bring in an idea from concept to reality. So I decided to just write down what my experiences were. I, uh, that's them in the book. Um, uh, they are real. Yeah, uh, Some of them were good, very, very good. Uh, we are here in one that is, a, I think, a fantastic testimony to the the ingenuity of Korean business and government and the determination of some of the Western companies like Cisco that decided to come here, like Gail, like others, to uh, make a smart city happen. Clearly, there are also other examples elsewhere that, uh, where things haven't worked out, and uh, I, I describe why. So I hope it is of interest to uh, anyone who either wants to learn from what the lessons learned are, or just generally has an uh, interest in uh, smart cities. So, but who's thank the you. book really aimed at? I mean, and, and who needs to learn the lessons that you talk about in the book? Well, I mean, I, I'm not sure anyone needs to learn the lessons. I, I think some can choose to learn the lessons and then try to avoid making the same mistakes. Because clearly, I mean, one thing I do see, I mean, this morning I was thinking about some of uh, the reality of the urbanization that we see, for example, in in China, elsewhere, and most of what is being built today is not smart, is not enabled, and is not always thought through. So I think I applaud your initiative, and I applaud us coming together here to try to steer this wave of urbanization into a, uh, into a more organized, more uh, thought through and, and, and smarter future. And if anyone who works on such projects uh, reads this book, whether that's a city developer, themselves, whether that is a technology company executive who needs to justify his involvement in an initiative like this uh, in a three quarter, in a quarterly, uh, on a quarterly basis, right? Um, I think for all of them, uh, there should be some lessons in uh, what to do and what not to do. Smart cities, digital nations, Kaspar Hertzberg, urge you all to buy it.